Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. Our community needs its local businesses. Let's put unity back into the community. Let's all unite to support local business. Butler Health System, proudly standing with our local businesses. Your choice matters. When the time comes, choose local. Let's all unite to support them and the other local businesses in your community. It's important because when local businesses thrive, communities thrive. And here we go back here at halftime. Great shot. Here's the Red Bank Valley marching band to get us started here on the halftime.
Let's give a big hand to the Red Bank Valley Marching Band and the Color Guard. Back here at Red Bank Valley, getting set for the ceremony coming up of the um, Hall of Fame recipients. Uh, you see them gathering down there. We'll just get that momentarily. And that was the Red Bank Valley Marching Band doing a nice job. Don't forget, too, coming up on October 11th, that's on Columbus Day, we'll be at AC Valley High School for the Clarion County Marching Band Festival. That'll be broadcast live here on the EYT Media Network. Get to see Red Bank again. And now let's go to the PA announcer here. Bank Valley Sports Boosters Hall of Fame Class of 2021. Before we begin, we would like to recognize our four scholarship winners from last year. Bryn Rarick. Bryn was the captain and all-conference volleyball and softball player. Bryn led her volleyball team to a D9 title her sophomore and senior season and a first ever program state playoff win her senior year. Bryn is currently enrolled at Clarion University majoring in early childhood education. The other three tonight are unable to attend due to college obligations. Rhiannon Laughlin was the captain and all-conference soccer player leading the girls' soccer team her senior year to their first ever D9 title. Rhiannon currently attends Chatham University, majoring in environmental science, and is a member of the Chatham soccer team. Landon Pence is our next scholarship winner. He lettered in soccer, football, basketball, and track his senior year. Landon was the kicker for the football teams in his D9 title and the program's first ever state playoff win. Landon currently is attending Penn State University majoring in electrical engineering. Our final scholarship winner is Trenton Roop. Trenton was a football captain for the D9 championship and first ever state playoff victory team last year. Trent was also a two-time D9 wrestling champ and a four-time regional qualifier. Trenton currently attends Grove City College, majoring in psychology and is a member of the Grove City football team. And now, may I introduce our class of 2021 Hall of Fame for the Red Bank Valley Sports Booster. Our first inductee is a female athlete, Michelle Aiken. Presenting Michelle's class tonight are her daughters, Michaela and Haley. Michelle is a 1993 graduate of Red Bank Valley. Michelle was named all-conference in the volleyball her senior season and was a member of the state runner-up 1600 meter relay during her junior track season. On the basketball court, Michelle excelled as a four-year starter, being named all-conference her junior and senior year, and was the conference leading scorer her senior season. Michelle was the first girls basketball player to score 1,000 points. She is currently third in scoring with 1,211 points and second in rebounding with 818 in Red Bank school history. Michelle was also a part of the 1992-93 league and district title team that was inducted in the class of 2019. Michelle played basketball in college at Davis and Elkins in West Virginia and led the team her final year in scoring with 20.1 points and 10.4 rebounds per game. Michelle is a nurse at the Punxsutawney Area Hospital 
and lives in Brookville with her two daughters, Michaela and Haley, and boyfriend Matt. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Aiken. Our second female athlete being inducted this evening is Dr. Rebecca Edmonds. Presenting Becky's class tonight are her children, Will and John. Becky is a 1994 graduate who at the time of graduation was the program's all-time leading scorer with 1,228 points and currently ranked second. Becky is the all-time leading rebounder with 1,011 rebounds and is ranked first in numerous other categories. Becky graduated from Bucknell University and received her medical degree from Drexel University. Dr. Edmonds is currently a surgical oncologist for Allegheny Health Network Cancer Institute and lives in Fox Chapel with her husband, Alex, and two sons, Will and John. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Rebecca Edmonds. Our first male athlete being inducted is Mr. Darren Burford. Presenting Darren's class tonight is his wife, Tara. Darren is a 1985 graduate. While at Red Bank, Darren was named All-Conference in football his junior and senior seasons and was named Red Bank's Lineman of the Year both seasons. Darren was also the first player in Red Bank history to be nominated for the Big 33 football game. On the mat, Darren placed third his junior season and qualified for regionals. His senior season at heavyweight, Darren won a district championship and led the team in most falls and team points. Receiving the Daniel Dunn Award for Academics, Darren attended the PA State Police Academy after graduation and recently retired with a rank of sergeant as state commander at the Emporium State Police Barracks. Recently, moving back to the area, Darren is currently the high school security guard living in Oak Ridge with his wife Tara and three children, Taryn, Mackenzie, and Gage. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Darren Burford. Our second male athlete to be inducted is 1995 graduate Jason Huffman. Presenting Jason's class tonight is Jason's family, Danielle, Emma, Olivia, Jason, and Jackson. While at Red Bank, Jason was a four-year starting quarterback and led the team in 1991 to the program's first district championship. He was named first team all-conference quarterback as a freshman and a senior. He was also a second team punter as a junior, first team punter as a senior, and first team all-conference kicker as a sophomore, junior, and senior. Jason was also named conference back of the year as a senior. Jason was a leading scorer in basketball program history with 1,253 points and is currently ranked third. Upon graduation, Jason attended California University of Pennsylvania and was a four-year starter on the Cal U football team as a quarterback, tight end, guard, and was also named all-star offensive player for the Fargo Snowball in Fargo, North Dakota. Jason is currently a principal for the Butler Area School District and lives in New Bethlehem with his wife, Danielle, and four children, Emma, Olivia, Jackson, and Jace. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jason Huffman. This evening, the late Larry Shoemaker is being inducted under the Coach Contributor category. Larry graduated from Punxsutawney Area High School in 1962. Although not playing any high school sports, 
Larry played baseball as a teenager and as an adult for the Timbaland Lions. Receiving a degree in business education from Indiana University of Pennsylvania in 1966, Larry worked at the Red Bank Valley High School as a business teacher for 35 years. At Red Bank, Larry coached track for eight years, high school baseball for seven years, varsity football for 24 years, with 18 of those as defensive coordinator for the 2018 Hall of Fame inductee, David Moore. Under Coach Shoemaker's tenure, the football team were Beast of the East in 1984, Little 12 Champs in 85, KSAC Champs in 94, 95, and 96, and won D9 titles in 91, 92, and 96. Larry also coached Teener League and American Legion Baseball for over 30 years. Larry and his late wife, Sandy, were married for 51 years. Accepting tonight on behalf of Larry are his sons, Greg, Brian, Corey, and his daughter, Heidi. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Shoemaker. Our final inductee under the Coach Contributor category is Mike Brown. Presenting tonight is Mike's daughter, Carrie, and grandson, Gus. Mike graduated from Reynolds High School in 1968 and was named Athlete of the Year. Mike would go on to play basketball at Pitt Titusville and would receive the first ever full athletic scholarship from Pitt Titusville. Mike came to Red Bank Valley School District in 1975 and would be employed until 2007 while serving as health, phys ed, and driver theory teacher along with being athletic director over the course of his 32 years. Mike's coaching resume includes assistant football coach for 23 years, varsity basketball for 25 years, including two league championships, one D9 title, and three D9 runner-up, 19 years as head boys track coach, one year as assistant baseball coach, and eight years as head baseball coach, with three KSAC championships and five D9 runner-up. Mike was named Coach of the Year seven times in basketball and baseball combined. After leaving Red Bank, Coach Brown would coach the Clarion University baseball team as an assistant for two years as head coach for nine years. Mike currently lives in Clarion with his wife, Diana, and is the proud father of Carrie's daughters, Carrie, Aaron, Moira, and seven grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Mike Brown. This evening's team being inducted into the 2021 Red Bank Valley Sports Boosters Hall of Fame is the 2010 Red Bank Valley Baseball Team. The Bulldogs, coached by Justin Merwin, won their third straight D9 title ending the season with a record of 18-3. and three. The KSAC champs would defeat Bedford in the first round of states, reaching the PA Elite Eight and Western Final Four before losing to eventual state runner-up Central Martinsburg. Representing the team tonight is Coach Justin Merwin, Coach Tom Trout, Coach Tom Wagner, Coach Greg Buzzard, And then the players, Josh Schaefer, Zach Wolbert, Zach Dubia, Kent Schick, Dan Buzzard, Tyler Vassbinder, Justin Radecker, Doug Gunlock, Caden Truitt, Josh Schick, Nathaniel Bowser, Curtis Bowser, Luke Hager, Shiloh Buckleitner, Ryan Trout, Brandon Bain, Zach Henry, Clay Kenamuth, Nicholas Maxwell, Dustin Price, Nate Vassbinder. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2010 Red Bank Valley baseball team.
The induction ceremony will be held tomorrow night at Trinity Hall in Bethlehem, with doors opening at 5 and dinner starting at 6. Please, for ticket information, call Matt Dar at 814-227-8759. Tonight, after the game, the public is invited to the Moose Lodge in New Bethlehem for a meet and greet with tonight's inductees. A membership to the lodge is not required. Once again, please put your hands together as we honor our former great student athletes and coaches into the class of 2021 Red Bank Valley Sports Boosters Hall of Fame. Well, there you go. The Hall of Fame introductions uh, taking place tonight. No, Bob, you know all of those folks down there, and uh, certainly a nice night here for Red Bank Valley to honor some of those great people. Well, it is, and, and of course, the fact, again, you have male athletes, female athletes, the team represented. Uh, you know, I, I was fortunate Matt Dar reached out to me a number of years ago and said, hey, this is what we want to do. Will you help? Will you be part of this? And involved a little bit in the selection process, and it's interesting. It's uh it's very rewarding, and it's nice to see these individuals get recognized. And, uh, you know, I, I talked earlier in the broadcast about some of the, the individuals out there, and you look at, uh, you know, Becky Edmonds uh, out there as well as, as, as well as, you know, Coach Brown, all those guys, everybody out there, Michelle Aikens, um, huge uh, contributors to sports history. You know, you have to remember, a lot of people don't realize this back in uh, – you know, the 80s, basketball, girls' basketball was played in the fall of the yep. year. At yep. one point, they just simply didn't have it at Red Bank. Well, the following year came back. The program struggled for a number of years. Eventually, Ernie Black took the program over, who was one of the, uh, also one of the inductees who was inducted uh, a while back. And that program grew, and two of those athletes walking there uh, certainly were a huge part of the su success of that. And, of course, that team uh, also in the Hall of Fame. But, Mike? we got a lot of business to take care of tonight. do want to let listeners know also, by the way, that following this, a uh, little bit of meet and greet in the New Bethlehem Moose Lodge, so it's open to the public, so you can mix and mingle a little bit with these Hall of Fame members. And what was great is family members really presenting them for the most part. Uh, you know, pretty uh, class act in the baseball team, having a number of guys here as well. Mike, but thanks Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet.